while we take from my women, while we rape our women. I never thought that hip hop would take it this far. Now I'm in the line. Ain't nobody's hero, but I want to be heard. On your hot 97 every day, that's my word. I first fell in love with hip hop. I think it was Run DMC. I mean, all of the. Uh, Wow, all of their songs, it's tricky, you know, it's like that, that's the way it is, all of that. I hope that's that's the origins of hip hop. Um, but yeah, that's when I always had the origins of rap. And what is the difference between rap and hip hop? That's the question. I think the first hip hop track that resonated with me was, Whose house say what runs out? <laughs> A song that made me fall in love with hip hop would have to be Diddy Hello Good Morning Remix. I just remember vividly coming home from school. I was like in the fifth grade and that song was playing. My sister was on the couch. And I just remember just falling in love like with, with the whole video, the whole aesthetic. Like I remember seeing Nicki. I came up in it a little bit self-centered, but did I kill a queen? Now Alexander McQueen's got the wrist on glow, the bottles is on pole. Got that shimmy 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 The first hip hop artist I idolized was Sosa, she keeps. Well, I mean, MC Light, I gotta give a shout out to that, especially growing up in South LA with uh, all of the gangs and the Crips and the Bloods and everything. And um, self-destruction, that was a big one that had a real big impact on me. And just trying to stop all of the gang violence, that was huge for me in high school. Funky fresh dress to impress, ready to party. Money in your pocket, dying to move your body. To get inside, you pay the whole $10. Scotch safe with a razor blade, take to your car. Leave the guns in the crack and the knives alone. MC lights on the microphone, bum rushing and pushing, snatching and taxing. I cram to understand why brothers don't be maxing. There's only one disco, they'll close one more. You one of my first performances, it had to be, I think it was a birthday party for like DJ Enough and Angie, I think. It was like, it was a hot, I think it was like a hot 97 thing. I think Foolish had just like exploded and I was so scared. Yeah, that was one of the early ones. The first album I ever bought was Definitely either Justin Bieber. No, I'm lying. It was Chris Brown. It had all the hits popping wall to wall. Like, I was obsessed. Is your man on the floor? If he ain't, let me know. Let me see if you can run it, run it. Girl, indeed, I can run it, run it. I wasn't buying albums back then. I was buying cassettes. Yes, I was buying. Which cassette did you buy back then? I mean, Cool Mo D, Houdini. I never bought an album. Never bought an album. Nah. Streamed. First hip hop album I streamed was. I think it was Migo Junk. No label. Two. Hey, hey, it's your girl Ashanti. Oh, uh, it's Flo Millie. It's your girl Wendy Raquel Robinson. Hey, what's up? It's your girl Glorilla, aka Big Glow, and happy 50th birthday to hip hop.